y'all welcome back to the life of pylea i'm pylea and today we're gonna do uh, it's called second life tag i saw it on uh the kendra project and if you haven't checked out her channel check it out she has lots of great stuff up there but it's just kind of like a q a i wasn't tagged i guess because i haven't been doing videos i don't know i wasn't tagged but you know what i don't even care I'm going to force my way into the game. Um, there are 13 questions. Okay, so I have them in a note card. Question number one. When did you start playing Second Life? My res date for Pylea is January 21st, whatever 13 years ago was. I may have had an avatar prior to that. However, I think I just didn't understand what it was. And so I didn't play it. But that's, that's when I created Pylea, January 21st of whatever. Second question, what is your name in Second Life, username and avatar name, and how did you come up with that name? So my name in Second Life is Pylea, and my username pylea.hammerthal. Uh, how did I come up with that name? So before I played Second Life, I played Neverwinter Nights, the first one. And they had a name generator. I played like this elven ranger character elf ranger elf whatever um and i played on this role play server that was like men versus women and that was just the name that was generated there and i liked the name and i liked that character's story and i thought that i would be more into like medieval role play or fantasy role play type things in second life than i actually end up doing so that's how we got here i i don't do fantasy role play but i do like fantasy stuff in second life what about second life this is question number three what about second life made you stick around you know i think it's been a couple of different things uh, number one i like meeting people and interacting with people from all around the world i find that really interesting not so much to learn about the things that we that are different in cultures but the things that we have that are the same you know but also i like like just exploring and all the creativity that I see in the art. I like to shop, obviously. Um, I like the fashion and I like that I can, it's kind of just an escape from reality, right? Um, so I like that. That's what made me stick around. I've made some really great friends over the years. Um, even people from like way, way back who I still keep in touch with. And I continue to meet people and make friends. So that's what makes me stick around. What is my favorite thing about Second Life? My favorite thing about Second Life is that it does. There are very few limits as far as what you can create and what you can um, experience if you really use your imagination. And that's my favorite thing about Second Life. You know, you can go to art installations that are something that were are impossible in the real world but here in second life there is a way to um to channel that creativity into things that you wouldn't otherwise have uh question number five what is my what is your favorite thing that you can do in second life that you can't do in real life why what else you can go to some of the really dirty grown-up places those are things that well, i guess i could do them in real life but i choose not to do them in real life uh i to avoid risky behavior <laughs> yeah I, if i want to be a dragon tomorrow or as soon as i'm done with this video bam i'm a dragon i recorded that video earlier today and dang it if i wasn't a gecko you could also be non-reptilian animals you could be a unicorn you could be a bird you can be an alien from some planet that no one's ever heard of. That's my favorite thing to do in Second Life that I couldn't necessarily do in real life. I mean, I guess you could. If you wanted to dress up like an alien, you could. But there's a place for those people and I don't want to go there. Question number six. What is your favorite thing to do in Second Life? Hmm. My favorite thing to do in Second Life just by myself is probably explore or put together outfits because i like doing both of those things a lot um with other people i like to just hang out and kind of talk and you know I, I think i said this a couple videos back that there's a certain anonymity to second life where you like you're never going to meet these people but you're able to like share parts of yourself that maybe you wouldn't share with even those people close around you because you can um because it's safe they don't know you they're not gonna put you on blast to your boss or anything you know so well, maybe that should have been number four anyway 
Uh, so meeting people and talking and hanging out is probably my favorite thing to do in Second Life. But also putting together outfits, exploring, and dancing. Question number seven, what is your favorite sim in Second Life? Other than where I live? Um, I mean, where I live is like where I spend most of my time. Very, you know, I'm just thinking about this. It's very much like my real life where I don't really enjoy, it's not that I don't enjoy, but there's just so much hassle when you go out and about. And I find that that is also true in Second Life. You go to places and there's like so much lag or people just doing their gestures or whatever. They're, I don't care for them. So I guess my favorite sim that is not where I live would probably be um, Planet QoS because I go there and dance and hang out there a lot. Not a lot, maybe two or three times a week. I don't know if that's a lot. Question number eight. Who is your favorite person or people in Second Life? Um, well, right now, my favorite person in Second Life is probably Tyrone because we hang out a lot and, you know, we hang out a lot. <laughs> and we just relax and talk and watch shows and laugh at things. Um, so he's probably my favorite person right now. Um, but I also have really good friends who um, are my favorite people too, like Adele and Angela. Hope y'all are watching, except for Angelo. I know he doesn't watch. Uh, question number nine. Do you have a job in Second Life? No, I have a job in real life. I have very little desire for a Second Life job. Uh, what do, oh, but you know what? I do have the taco shop. I don't know if that's a job. I make Linden's off of it. So maybe, yeah, I have a job. I'm a restaurant owner. Well, a taco truck owner over on the uh, Monarchy Sim. That also answered the next part of that question, which was, what do you do? Question number 10. What do you spend most of your Lindens on? Y'all have seen my shopping videos. I don't even know why that's a question. Oh, and tips. I'm a big tipper. If I'm at a club and you're performing, I will tip you at least uh, one to 200 Lindens. It always will start with 100, like as soon as I get there. But then if you are doing stuff that I like, you're playing music that I like, and you have good energy and you're engaging with the people who are there, then I'll tip you more. Question number 11, what is my favorite store in Second Life? I don't really have a favorite store. You know, there's so many great creators out there that I couldn't pick a favorite store. I have stuff from all over. So yeah, I don't really have a favorite store and I shop the sales. So, you know, whoever wants to give me good stuff the cheapest, let me know and I'll, I'll change my answer to this so that you're my favorite. Uh, question number 12, what do you wish would change about Second Life? Here's some things I wish would change. I wish that I didn't have to go and buy a whole new set of clothes every time I changed a body. I would change that about Second Life if I could because I have all kinds of clothes for bodies I no longer wear. Um, another thing I wish that they would change about Second Life is that they would do like an automatic inventory cleanup where they could be like, hey, you haven't worn da 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 or you haven't used these items in six months do you want to keep them in your inventory and then let you choose from that maybe there could be an inventory archive system something like that that would be great just like with your email uh number 13 what do you hope never changes about second what i hope never changes about second life is that people continue to play it i know that it has died down um over the past few years well so it died down and then COVID happened and then it got bumped up again so I hope that it never stops allowing people to be creative and I hope that it is accessible. I hope that it continues to improve and grow and I hope that this metaverse jammy does not affect Second Life. There's a lot. I hope that the, the good people who continue to play keep playing and I hope that more good people start playing. That was number 13. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, round of Second Life tag. I don't know if we're going to keep doing this or what the deal is, but I'm down if we, we want to come up with some more questions. I thought this was really fun. And I think that it's really interesting to watch other people's videos and see what they're saying uh, and to see what how they're answering these questions. And I hope that you enjoyed my answers as well. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're inclined to do so. And I'll see you next time.